assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will discuss modal verbs we quite frequently use different modal verbs in different structures and for different purposes but in this lecture we will discuss various common modal verbs and for what purpose we use these modal verbs we have also discussed them in our previous classes but here i will give you a brief overview of all the modal verbs that we use very commonly let's see what are modal verbs first a modal verb or sometimes modal phrases okay, which are called semi modals is a type of auxiliary by auxiliary we mean a helping verb okay so that is used to express ability possibility permission or obligation so these are some of the common you uh, common expressions for which we use modal verbs okay for example when i say i can do this that means i'm showing my ability so i'm using can this is a particular modal verb which i'm using to show my ability okay or this can happen so that means that's the possibility or can i leave okay so then i'm asking a permission so this there could be various ways for which we use different models okay so these are basically three four common expressions we for which we use modal verbs okay so we have this modal verbs they are form of helping verbs or auxiliaries which are used to express these kind of structures modal phrases or semi models are used to express the same things okay so these are the things that we use to express through models so semi phrases or uh, modal verbs modal phrases or semi models they all are used to express the same things as models but they are a combination of auxiliary verbs and a preposition too okay so we would see their examples in detail so let's see modal verbs are special verbs which behave irregularly in english so why these modal verbs are different from other helping verbs okay if we say that they are general auxiliary verbs or the function uh, as a auxiliary verb but we see that when we see the use of these modal verbs they behave irregularly the be the behavior of them these modal verbs is not same okay they are not you know made uh, singular and plural like with different pronouns or some uh, something like that so their structure and the the their behavior okay this that is irregular than other common verbs so we will discuss how they are different as well all right so how modal verbs are different from normal verbs they don't use an s for the third person singular so when you see that we are using um, do or does for example okay so we have different verb form in normal cases for third person singular okay and for plural pronouns okay for example we use does for he and she and it and we use do for other plural pronouns so uh, but we see when we are using modal verbs we always carry the same form for all the pronouns okay for example she can do that i can do that they can do that okay so we have various pronouns for example she is different they is different i is different but with all these cases there is no s with the modal verb and there would always be the same form can okay must similarly may is similar so all these modal verbs may must okay can all these modal verbs they would behave same with all the pronouns and there is no distinction for third person singular as in the case with normal verbs that's why they are different from other normal verbs the said second distinction is they never change their form okay you can't add s ed or ing okay so with normal verbs we sometimes add ing in them okay for example doing playing or we use ed with them we we develop their second form or third form okay so we use additional verbs to to change their form but when we are talking about modal verbs as i told you earlier they do not change their form and they would always remain the same form no matter what pronoun there is no matter what uh, time you're talking about they would always be in their same form third distinction between normal verbs and modal verbs is they make questions by inversion okay she can go becomes can she go okay so uh, we make them in questions 
okay by inverting them all right so in this case i'm asking for a permission okay now here i'm giving permission so this is how we invert the sentence and make it into a question they are followed directly by the infinitive of an other verb okay without to all right okay so we have uh, we discussed that there will be various expressions so one of them is probability but probability means how often something is likely to happen okay so for to show probability we use modal verbs first they can be used when we want to say how sure we are that something happened is happening or will happening will happen so for past present and future when we have to show how likely something uh, to happen or how often it's happening or how often it happened so to show probably like how sure we are that something happened or how to show something is happening or will happen we often call these models of deduction or speculation or certainty or probability because we are showing certainty we are showing how sure we are about certain thing or we speculate okay when you're talking about future we speculate that how often will happen how that will happen okay so in that case we would use model verbs let's see the examples here it's snowing so it must be very cold outside so in this case we are speculating that since it's snowing that means it must be cold outside so we are using this model verb to speculate okay i don't know where he is he could have missed the train so since he's not present that means i'm assuming that he could have okay so could is the model verb here missed his train so i'm again assuming that this might be the reason so this again i'm speculating i'm not sure of the certainty but i'm just giving a deduction that these could be the reasons he is not here this bill can't be right rupees 200 for a cup of coffee okay so this is again i'm assuming that this is not right based on my previous information that a cup of coffee is cheaper than that and this bill is not right all right so this is how we use modal verbs different modal verbs like must could and can for showing probability okay then we also use modal verbs to show ability okay we often use can and could to talk about a skill or ability a person possesses for example she can speak six languages okay she can go there okay so this is her ability she can swim so it's her ability or it's her skill that she knows how to swim that means i can use can okay to show the skill that he or she possesses so it's her ability that she can speak six languages so i would use can the modal verb okay to show the skill my grandfather could play golf very well so my grandfather he knew golf and he could play it very well so it's her ability and it's a skill it's mastery to play golf all right so in that case i'm using could to show the ability of my grandfather i can drive i'm again using a modal verb to show that i'm not skilled i don't have this skill driving so i cannot drive i can't drive okay so we use modal verbs for probability for ability then we also use modal verbs for obligation okay to show that you someone is obligated to do something or for giving advice we can use verbs such as must or should to say when something is necessary or unnecessary or to give an advice okay so these are the two modal verbs that we would use in this case children must do their homework okay that means we showing the children are obligated to do their homework okay it's ideal for them that they should do their homework so we would say that children must do their homework so must is the modal verb Here we are using. We have to wear a uniform at work. You should stop smoking. So have to and should. These are the examples here. 
which is showing obligation. Uh, we are here in this case, we are giving an advice that you should quit smoking. Okay, so we use these normal verbs for obligation or advice. Then we have permission. We can use verbs such as can, could, and may to ask for and give permission. We also use model verbs to say something which is not allowed. So to give permission or to deny a request, okay, so not giving permission, or asking for permission, in all these cases, we would use model verbs. Could I leave early today, please? So here I'm asking for a request. You may not use the car tonight. Okay, so may not, so I'm not giving the permission. Can we swim in the lake? Here I'm again asking for the question. Okay, or if we say we can swim in the lake today, so that means I'm allowing, allowing it. Next we have habits. For habits, we also use model verbs like will and would. Okay, to talk about habits or things we usually do or we used to do or we did in the past. When I lived in Italy, we would often eat in the restaurant next to my flight. So I'm talking about a habit. Okay, so when I was there, we used to go to this restaurant. So here we would use would. Okay, to talk about habits we have. John will always be there. That means it's always there. It's just habit. Okay, so in this case, we use will and would to show habits. And here, they behave as model verbs. So here we see, for ability, we use these model verbs, can, could, and be able to. Okay, for permission, we use model verbs, can, may, could, be allowed to. Okay, you are allowed to do this. Be means by, we mean the, to be form of the verb auxiliary. So you are allowed to do this. Okay, so here this allowed be and allowed to is a form of model verb. For possibility or certainty, we use may, might, could, or must. That would again vary according to the conditional sentences. Okay, zero to zero conditional or first conditional and so on. All right, then about necessity. Okay, necessity means an obligation. That means you have to do that or you must do that. So here it's an obligation or necessity. Then to give advice or suggestion, we use should, ought to, had better, and be supposed to. These are various model verbs that you would, we would use to give suggestions. Then also to ask people for something, to ask for permission, okay, or to ask people to, are they commanding them or requesting them to do something, okay? Like, can you please do this for me? So that is asking someone to do something for me. In such a case, it's not a permission. It's rather a request. Okay, so for, for also for request, we would use model verbs. Suggestions, offers, and invitations. Okay, so for offers, invitations, and suggestions, we would use model verbs. Then we would also use model verbs for predictions and uh, probabilities. All right. Maybe you can um, develop different sentences through all these structures so you understand these expressions that when we are asking for permission, when we are showing ability, maybe you can use all these different model verbs in your sentences, okay, and develop a chart so it will be easier for you to understand the use of these sentence, uh, these model verbs. Okay, so here, uh, previously we saw these model verbs according to this expression, and these are the model verbs that could be used for these expressions. Now we would see different model verbs and what are they used to express and their examples. Okay, so for example, this is a one model verb, must. Okay, um, I've taken these charts from internet and from various book sources. I'll show you uh, the book sources as well. So it will be easier for you to understand. Okay. So here, this is a model verb must. So must is used to show obligation and strong obligation or a logical conclusion or certainty. When we are using must for an obligation, okay, when we are using must here for a strong obligation, would be, example would be, 
you must stop when the traffic lights turn red all right so you must do this is in strong obligation so in this case we are using it for obligation we also use must for certainty like he must be very tired okay so this is a certainty or a logical conclusion since he has worked all day he must be very tired similarly we use must not a prohibition okay must not you must not smoke in the hospital okay because you are prohibited to smoke in the hospital so must not is used for prohibition something which is not allowed you must not smoke in the hospital okay you can do uh, make sense of similar sentences maybe you can use must for an obligation and develop your own sentence create an own sentence similarly for certainty must not for prohibition let's see can can could be used for ability okay it can be used for permission it can be used for possibility when we are using can for ability we would say i can swim okay i can swim that means that is my ability or have this skill permission can i use your phone please okay can i borrow your pen can i read your book or something like that and i'm asking for a permission i will use can similarly for possibility smoking can cause cancer so this is a possibility that this could happen as a result of this so also for showing possibility we would use can okay now we have next is could could is used for ability in the past when i was younger i could run fast okay so this is my ability in the past as the, we had the ability in present we are using can i can swim okay so in if in past i could do something which i can't do now so there i would use could all right similarly could is used for as applied permission okay excuse me could i just say something okay so here we would use could similarly we also use could for possibility okay it could rain tomorrow moving on okay so moving on we have uh, might might is used for polite expression permission okay might is suggest an idea so it's more polite okay for a when i saying a permission so uh, when you saying might it is more polite in nature May might i suggest an idea and it is very rare because uh, we it is more formal in nature okay might is also used for possibility and probability i might go to on holiday to australia next year so it's a possibility that i'm planning that might happen so it's a probability and possibility i might do this okay so in that case we would use possibility and probability we would use might okay similarly we have need to need to is used for lack of necessity or absence of obligation okay uh, need not okay need not is used for absence of obligation that means you should not have to you don't need to do this i need not buy tomatoes there are plenty of tomatoes in the fridge so it's already present i need not do this okay so lack of necessity there is no need to do that so we would just use need not i need not buy tomatoes i need not go outside okay it's okay since it's locked down i should stay at home i need not go outside and i need not a party or something like that okay so we use need not when there is no obligation or there is no necessity should or ought to we use uh, for obligation okay it's kind of a suggestion so it's not uh, a 100% obligation that this is you must do but rather you should do okay you like there is need for it i should or i ought to see a doctor i have a trouble terrible headache so i have a headache so i need to do, oh, do this or i should do this i ought to do this wow. all right are giving advice to someone you should or you ought to revise your lessons okay 
for reaching to a logical conclusion, he should be very tired. Okay, that means he has worked all day. He ought to be very tired, and that is the conclusion from the scenario. He has been working all day. He must be tired. He ought. To, he should be tired. He should add better for advice. Okay, we probably previously talked when we were talking about advice that how do we use had better? You'd better revise your lessons. That means again, it's an advice that you had better do this. You had better revise your lessons. Okay, so these are uh, basic uh, model verbs, how we use them. Okay, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, you can write in the chat. Uh, comment section or we can discuss them in the live session as well. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.